The African Transformation Movement said that Parliament shunned its oversight role by rejecting a Section 89 panel report, which probed misconduct allegations against President Cyril Ramaphosa. The ATM has now been granted an audience before a full bench of the Western Cape High Court next month to ask that the decision be overturned, as well as the decision to hold the vote in secret. It's one of two matters opposition parties are embarking on to challenge last year's decision by the National Assembly not to proceed with an impeachment inquiry following findings by an independent legal panel related to the theft of foreign currency from the president's farm, Fala Fala. By the way, please subscribe so that you will not miss our future videos. Also see the links in the description box below if you also want to download free Forex robots, indicators, courses and books. The economic freedom fighters have gone directly to the constitutional court with similar complaints. The ATM wants the High Court to review and set aside the Speaker of the National Assembly's decision for a secret ballot and to declare it unconstitutional and invalid. It also wants the Court to declare the proceedings of the special sitting on 13 December that rejected the Section 89 panel report invalid. The ATM said that the party could not accept Parliament's actions in this regard. It said that the decision by the National Assembly not to proceed with an inquiry on the Section 89 process whereas there's an independent panel report that clearly states that the matter is worth investigating is irrational. The ATM accused Parliament of violating its duty of oversight. Meanwhile, Ramaphosa has filed a separate case in the Constitutional Court, seeking to review the findings of the Section 89 panel. The ATM said that the party had run out of parliamentary options to hold the President accountable, so approaching the courts was now its only recourse. What do you think about this? Leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section below.